Welcome to Wessex Garages Gloucester. Here today we have the Nissan Juke Nismo DIGT. This hatchback was first registered in 2013. This particular model has a 1.6 litre petrol engine. Now looking at the front of the vehicle, we do have a body colour bumper, which does have this red trim running along. We also do have these LED lights on the side of the vehicle, and we also do have the front fog lights. This vehicle does 0 to 60 in 7.8 seconds and also has 200 brake horsepower. The wing mirrors on this vehicle are in this gorgeous red. And looking at the alloy wheels, these are 18 inch alloy wheels and are in perfect condition throughout. Again, we do have the red theme running along the vehicle. This vehicle is in Taxman G, which equates to £175 road tax per year. It is a five door vehicle. We do have automatic rain sensing wipers at the front and at the rear. We do have the extra side skirts that have been added. We do have the LED daytime running lights, cruise control, and speed limiter. Now we're at the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, we do have a rear spoiler and it is body coloured. If we open up the boot, just above the number plate, that's where you'll find the rear view camera. I'll show you in more detail when we're inside the vehicle. But the boot itself, it's a very spacious boot. Also do have a 60-40 split on the back seat should you need that extra space. Underneath, that's where you'll find these extra storage compartments. And we do have the space saver spare wheel underneath. All in all, a very spacious boot. If we make our way around to the back doors, door handle situated just near the window. Now we do have electric windows in the back as well as the front. And we do have this cloth upholstery inside. We do have three spacious seats, all with three point seat belts and head restraints. And the back seats are ISOFIX enabled, should you need to put a child seat in the back. We do have additional storage in the centre console just here. And there's also additional storage in the map pocket in the back of the passenger seat. We open up the driver's door. First thing you're going to notice is this control panel just here. This controls all the electric windows in the vehicle. You can also unlock and lock the vehicle from here. And we can also disable the back window should you need to. I'm now sat in the driver's seat. Again, first thing you notice is we do have these steering wheel mounted audio controls. And from here, we can change the volume of tracks that we're listening to. We can also add to telephone calls and change the display on the speedometer. Now I do have the key in my hand. As you can see, it is an intelligent key. So all we need to do with this is just pop it in the cup holder or anywhere in the vehicle, put our foot on the clutch and click the start stop button. engages the speedometer and the dashboard. I'll have a quick look at the speedometer. Again, we've got a black and red theme inside. We also have the black and red theme running along the steering wheel. Over to the dashboard itself, we do have an AM and FM radio just here. We also do have a CD player. And we also do have the AUX input. Now there is Bluetooth connectivity in this vehicle, so you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. You can answer telephone calls and look into phone book just here, or we can use the steering wheel mounted audio controls. We can also play music via Bluetooth, and if we press this button here, that engages a full colour map. We also do have a navigation system, so all we need to do is click destination, new address, type in the address or postcode of where we want to go, and the vehicle will direct us there. If we press the info button, we can get weather updates, traffic messages, the fuel price, and point of interest powered by Google. Underneath, that's where you'll find the air conditioning, which can be set to automatic. And then we have our free driving modes. We have Eco, we also have Sport, and then we have 
are normal modes. And this affects the engine, the steering and the climate inside the vehicle. Now, underneath that we do have extra storage compartments. That's where you'll find our AUX and USB input. Then we have a 12 volt power socket on the other side and our 6 speed manual gearbox in the centre. As mentioned, we do have two cup holders and then we have our heated seats, both for the passenger and for the driver. Now if we put the vehicle into reverse, as you can see, the dash does change and we can see what's directly behind us using the rear view camera. And again, if we take it out of reverse, it goes back to the screen we were previously on. Now if we look at the glove box, we do have a very spacious glove box. There's also additional storage in these sides of the doors. Now as well as the driver and passenger airbags, we do have front and rear curtain airbags and we do have driver and passenger side airbags, making this quite a safe vehicle. If you like this vehicle, you can reserve it online and you'll be entitled to an extra £75 discount. If you're looking for finance, then look no further than our dealer finance. We can confidently beat any bank or high street lender, so come on down to the showroom and see our dedicated business manager for a great deal.